welcome back to Jules Maker. <laughs> okay, so today is gonna be a Sephora haul. This is because Sephora did a whole twenty percent off um, in all the stores online and offline. And basically, whoever has a member card, they can actually get twenty percent off. And yeah, went crazy lah. It was like a whole hoo ha, and I got the notification from the email, and I was just like, oh my god, perfect timing because I had like three hundred worth of vouchers that I haven't used. Half of it came from my one year anniversary working and half of it half of it half of it was actually from my birthday vouchers. I was really happy that I tahan and not use those vouchers. Well I did use my own money before that lah. So all this money I uh, these vouchers I simpan and I just waited for like the best time to actually buy and the best ever feeling when it's tengah discount and then you have these vouchers and then you just pay a certain amount so that was just like Happiness. So this haul is a combination of stuff that I was eyeing and stuff that impulse purchase. I'm sure you guys have been through that. So first tip is actually to subscribe to Sephora's um, newsletter because they give out like emails telling you like hey you have 10% off, hey you have 20% off, hey this is going to happen, this is a new product. So I find them super useful because without that I would never know that this Still will be going on but I would have known it through my friends and stuff like that like, or social media but then you know I had the opportunity to go on the first day of the sale in the morning yeah so that was that's just how I am like. so the second tip would be to go a day before the sale and then eye on the products that you want to buy so that's what I did I went a day before and then I grab or like you know I kind of knew what I wanted to do so rather than going there and finding out on that day like oh no there's a sale oh no and then oh maybe this I do but then when you go there it's just like everything's gone because everybody everybody just like wall up everything right and so when you know what to buy it saves time and then also it saves sort of save money in a way so that you're not like buying stuff according to what you feel at that time if that makes sense so yeah it really helped lah because um, you know, you're gonna find times where you're just gonna go in the store and then everything like matarambang, which like you want everything. That's how I feel every time when I go to Sephora. But you know, me going a day before really helped me minimize stuff and I and I really really make like research beforehand when it comes to really expensive products like high end or luxury. So the first product is actually a returning purchase. I don't know whether you guys have the same feeling. For me, if I buy stuff for the third time or second time, I have this sense of like, I feel very like proud of myself. <laughs> I found stuff that really worked and I know that their value for the price. A returning purchase which is the Clean On Me um, body wash or moisture shower gel by Soap & Glory. I bought this before and you know it lasted me quite a while. So. This one was 55 ringgit. I mean, this is before discount. So every price I'm going through is all before discount. So I bought this and, you know, I felt that it smells so good. It smells like... Okay, let's smell now. I don't know if you, if I can explain. Okay. It really smells... Number one, it smells clean. Number two, it smells sweet but very subtle. Not fruity, but I just don't know how to explain that soft, sweet, clean feel. Yeah, so what I feel about this product, what I feel that it's good, it feels really soft, um, it leathers really well, enough soap to like help 2-3 pumps on your sponge. I really really advise you when you use shower gel, expensive one, please use a sponge or like you know those things that looks very weird, I forgot what it's called but it has like, you know like those plastic looking things uh, where you do 3 pumps and it will last or either sometimes 2 pumps depending. And you just like it leathers up really well. It doesn't, so you don't waste lah. That's why you better use a sponge. Never use it like that, and then just like oh, and then you you know you expect it to just cover your, your whole body. It doesn't work that way. So that's a tip for me when it comes to expensive body wash. Make sure you use full on. <laughs> don't leave a drip. If you think I see it, put water, shake it, and still leather it out, and it will still save you money no matter what. So a second product is from Fresh. Uh, which is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is a very interesting product um, because I've actually bought, this is a full size, so this is about 150 millimeters. I've actually bought like the smaller one, um, which I've actually shared my mini haul in my Snapchat. So if you haven't followed me, go ahead. It's the same thing, Jules Makeup on Snapchat. I do a lot of first impression. I even did a mini haul before this on Snapchat. So if you want first time 
because I'm of course I'm constantly wasting money so it'd be good if you want to just follow and then you can see what I bought so I actually bought a smaller version and I thought brand new I believe a big version straight away especially if it's like expensive and it's like skincare it's really tricky business to actually like trust the amount of money you're putting out to getting the product so what I did was I bought the smaller one I tested it out for like a week so after using a week I really felt like damn the first time I use it I was like it feels soft after I wash it <laughs> which is very jarang for skincare for me to like be excited about because it usually takes me a long long time because right before that I was using St. Eve's, St. Ives or St. Eve's whatever you call it it was like the daily cleanse it's the apricot daily scrub that's amazing but I think sometimes over time your skin gets too mengada that it just you know it, it just doesn't work how it works at the beginning and your skin is always changing right so that's why you need to step up your skincare game lah but I'm not saying go and buy you know spend your money and buy all this expensive product no I'm not I'm just saying like experiment but at the right time but if something is working for you don't bother change maintain don't waste money so what I did was because my skin was like getting to the point where there's like so many black hits and white hits just popping out and I just didn't want to spend so much so what I did was I bought the smaller size which is like 55 ringgit which is maybe it's like 50 ml it's like 50 ml bottle and then I use it like use it for a week or plus and I was like I feel like my skin better skit and then like my white hair start pop out because I have like a lot of white hairs and black hairs that just pop out because of like stress or like sweat and I work in the city so when that happens your skin is just reacting to all this stuff like because back then I was working in a job that was in the city so it's different so your the air condition everywhere lah you go it really really affects your skin it's supposed to be like you know a gentle cleanser and I felt that it was good because it's for face and eyes and to tell you the truth before this I know it's bad some of you are gonna be like oh my gosh she's so bad but I use this um even before this I use my other daily cleanser I put it over my eye too because you know I just wanted to make sure that my eyes were clean for makeup but you know so far it didn't affect anything and I make sure that I was quite gentle on the eye but I still did it lah because I felt like I need the full cleanliness around my eyes so that's what I did so good a plus for me that this is for the eyes and the face so this has amino acid which helps to help maintain elasticity and healthy skin rose water which is for calming and balance properties calming cucumber extract aids in soothing the skin borate seed oil helps to nourish and all you do is the same thing like wash you know leather and apply over the skin and the feel of it it comes out like a gel so the gel when you leather it just gives enough soap not too much and after that you know what's best about it it doesn't feel dry your skin doesn't feel tight and i hate facial wash that feels tight that you feel it you just like exploding through your skin like that's how bad i don't like i hate facial wash like that so this one is super nice so next from fresh is a splurge i actually you know i was eyeing this for some time until I find that okay I'm ready to buy it because I felt it's a very expensive perfume which is your fresh brown sugar and this is only perfume and it's 100 millimeters what the, this I tell you my gosh this one um, at first how I got to buy this is I went of course I went to the counter and then like I sniff around until I smell this I was like oh my god it smells amazing it smells like overseas it smells like not your typical font like I, I just don't like perfume like how I mean like I like a lot of perfumes lah but this one is just nice and soft like I cannot I'm not like at that phase where I need to have like strong perfume like people lalu like oh what she's smelling no so this is nice because it gives like a soft sweet feel and it just makes me smile when I smell it and makin lama makin sedap bau dia on your skin because it's just very soft um, and you know most fresh punya um, perfumes are very nice and soft it's not so it's very subtle but it lasts long and next skincare um, is the Mario Badescu Q Badesk? I don't know um, drying lotion it's this small little thing here I haven't I'm not sure whether this will work or not but this has been raved in the social media world on YouTube world on Instagram world a few youtubers have used it and they you know they swear by it so this is one of the skincare that you like supposed to dip 
uh, cotton swab in it and then you're supposed to just like target the areas where you're about to have pimple or have pimple and then apparently it just soak up and then it just dries it up and then by the next day it's supposed to be good to go I don't know right now I'm waiting for something to just pop out and I'll let you know whether it works they said do not shake solution that's like the first thing and then dip a cotton swab into pink sediment which is down here dab on surface blemishes and let dry overnight do not use on broken skin do not apply around eye area the next returning products is your beauty blender and my cream contour which this is the highlight low light face contour duo and you know that I bought this before did I buy so I have this another color I've used it on a few um, makeup tutorials already uh, it's just I find okay this is not thank god so I find this cream contour very very useful because it's very creamy and it's not that is any that and it gives you like a easier time or more um, more time for you to actually work in the product so I find some cream contours they are much um cepat sangat set cepat sangat dry that when you want to blend it just like become a streak so I found that these are very creamy I've used it like you know on my sister or my her wedding and stuff and I find it is such so easy to work with and apparently it's like hot in the US but you know I just bought it anyway second is this one which is your beauty blender of course you can never live without your beauty blender I use this to like bake I use this to apply foundation I use this to set so versatile and remember to always use it when it's damp so lastly but the most painful one is the hourglass ambient strobe lighting powder and this is the incandescent strobe light i don't know whether i'm saying this right but let's have a look at this huh. so this one was not planned as it was a day before where i knew that i needed to buy this because i felt like i need to see what's the big deal just using it lightly wow I like that it's so subtle so guys that's my haul for Sephora's discount and I really really had fun going there and wasting my money no I'm just kidding I'm doing waste I had like and I was so excited and I'm really happy the stuff that I got because all combination that stuff you know I really wanted and stuff that I was so happy to find it lah there and then and I'm really and I can't wait to try all of them and of course again don't forget to follow my snapchat or instagram for more live in first impression so hope you guys enjoyed this haul and see you guys around bye